What's up everyone, Liam here, and welcome back to another video. It is currently Friday morning, I've got coaching this afternoon, but I thought I'd take the opportunity now to record this intro, ready for the video which you will be watching out this Sunday. Again, as always, I want to say a massive thank you for all of the support on these videos, and also a shout out to all of you that came for one-to-one -one sessions. It's been amazing once again to see the response from all of you, and I'm looking forward now to starting summer camps starting from next week. The summer camps I'm going to be working on are going to run by Progressive Sports and if you'd like to know a bit more info or for any parents watching getting your child booked onto a summer camp then make sure to check out Progressive Sports on Facebook and I'll leave a link to their page in the description of this video. I've had football training for the past three nights and I think it's right for me now to have a little bit of a rest after also recording the video yesterday but I'll be ready again for next week ready to have some more sessions and ready to start working on the summer football camps. So without further ado, it's time to get into today's video. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like. Make sure to also subscribe to my channel and leave a comment for a shout out in my next video. So let's get straight into today's activity. straight into today's activity. So first off, as always, we have to start with our warm-up and for the activity as a whole, here is the equipment you are going to need. You will need six cones, one football, a timing device, and an agility ladder, although you can also use cones as an alternative to the ladder or follow what I do in the example activity to show you how you can complete the activity without an agility ladder. For the warm up, we are going to complete the following parts starting with jogging for four lengths, followed by side steps for the same amount of lengths, heel flicks, leg twists, and then finishing off with two lengths of lunges. It is important to always remember that we start with our warm-ups that we are properly prepared for our activity and that we are not going straight into high intensity work which could cause ourselves muscle injuries. Once we have completed the part of our warm-up without the ball, we are quickly going to do a short warm-up with the ball, that being dribbling for four lengths with both feet, dribbling for two lengths with just our left foot and finishing off by dribbling with just our right foot for two lengths. So today's activity is called the agility test and I decided to try out my new agility ladder which came last week and give it a go by using it in an activity which you can also try out yourselves at home. Here you can see me setting out the agility ladder in between two cones and a football but if you do not have an agility ladder at home you can also replace this by using cones or any open space you have. To start with I'm going to do quick feet through the agility ladder with two feet in each space. When I get to my football at the other end, I'm going to complete 10 keepy ups. And once I've completed my 10 keepy ups with the football, I am then going to make my way back to the start. That meaning I've completed one round of the agility test. There are three difficulty levels, which you can pause on the screen right now and see, each one making it harder for you and testing your fitness levels as much as your agility. As well as the three difficulty levels on the agility ladder, you can also replace the keepy ups at the end of your ladder with toe taps and then make your way back around the start without going through the agility ladder to the starting cone. Here you are now going to see me have an attempt to see how many lengths of the agility ladder test I can complete in a total of two minutes. And as you can see, the more I run through my agility ladder, the more tired my legs get and it makes it harder for me to complete my 10 keepy ups. This means we are testing not only our fitness levels, but our speed of moving through a small space in our agility ladder and also testing how we can control the ball at the end even when our legs get tired. As we move into the final 10 seconds of the agility test, you can see that I start to get really tired of my keepy ups and I finish with a final score of 9.
So after the activity, as always, we must complete a warm down to again, just like our warm up prevents any muscle injuries and make sure that we have properly reduced the level of intensity from our activity, meaning that we are not going straight into a rest period. Our warm down will include three diamonds of jogging, one diamond of lunges and one diamond of arm stretches. The amount of diamonds we complete is a replacement for what we would usually use in a warm down which is a set out as a square. So this time I've set out four cones in the shape of a diamond and we're going to simply repeat the jogging for three total diamonds and then one diamond each for our lunges and our arm stretches. So thank you all for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed the activity in today's video and that if you tried it out yourselves at home, you managed to gain as many benefits from it as possible. The main goal of this YouTube channel for me is to help you all re-engage with football during lockdown and a massive part of football is being able to see your friends each and every week in both training and matches and feel part of a community at the club that you play at. So to replace that feeling of feeling part of a community in your club in the situation that we are currently in. In. it would be amazing if you could also share this content with your friends and make sure that they are also engaging with the videos I'm uploading and you are all managing to gain benefits from the time we are given during lockdown. If you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave it a like, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and share my content with your friends and family to make sure that we are getting as many people involved as possible. But for now I will see you all in the next video. I need